Hello everyone, welcome back to Prager Paints Minis. Today we're going to look at a tutorial on how to do a red power sword. Now many of the swords you see out there are blue in color, so I thought you might find it useful to see a different take on a power sword. I tend to go with the red uh, for a couple reasons. One, because it contrasts well with my blue ultramarines, and two, because I like how it has a hot feel to it. So we started with the base coat of corn red, and now what we're doing is adding our first of the highlights to it using Mephiston red, as you saw in the previous clip. What we're doing here is we're just laying down progressively lighter colors until we get to what we feel is our preferred highlight shade, and I'll show you a few options as we go along. Generally, we're starting from the edge of where we want the paint to pool and dragging inwards. So right here, I'm dragging towards the tip of the blade. Sometimes you see me starting about three fourths and dragging towards the middle. And this is just gonna ensure that the paint pools uh, towards the middle instead of on the end, leaving that coffee stain effect that you hear people talk about so often. The other reason we pull towards the middle is we're trying to create transitions from the dark colors towards the lighter colors in the center. So I'm going over here probably three to four passes per shade used, and we're just slowly building it up. You can see how watered down the paint is, and as I pull it towards the middle, the pigment will gradually settle in the middle and become more opaque. So don't be overly alarmed if when you lay the paint down it looks pretty watery or it feels like it doesn't have a lot of coverage. As in everything we do in painting, we're just using multiple layers and building it up. Evil Sun Scarlet is going to be our next paint used. And after you apply it, three, four layers of this, you're really gonna start to notice the effect we're going for here. We're following the same steps of either dragging towards the edge if we're at the tip of the blade or the very base of the blade like you see on screen, or if we're doing the middle section here, I drag towards that center. Using uh, the front and the back of the blade, uh, I try to do both sides at once instead of painting one half of the the sword in full and then go into the other half, we might as well use the paint we already have on our brush. I'm not overly concerned with the amount of pooling we see in the middle here. As we apply three to four layers, that's going to start to disappear, and the middle section is going to be super vibrant. I'm showing you now the sword after three or four coats, and you can see just how good it looks from here. You notice that I have 
sword arm attached to just a paint pot using something called blue tack that's t-a-c and there's a number of different companies that make this but i find it a very useful tool when i'm painting in sub assemblies which i tend to do for most of my models Moving on to Troll Slayer Orange, and you have a decision to make here. This color is definitely bright enough that it could be your final highlight. I tend to go one step further, and I'll show you how I go one step further in the next couple clips, but not everyone likes the super high contrast on the blades, so this is absolutely a color where you can use your as your finishing shade. Um, it'll have plenty of contrast, it'll look metallic with a couple little extra tricks, so if you don't want to go any further than this, this is definitely a good stopping point. Now one thing you may have noticed when I'm applying this color, and you'll see it on all the brighter colors, is I'm not covering the entirety of what I had covered previously. I'm sticking more towards the center, or when I'm going towards the tip of the blade, I'm starting about two thirds of the way up. And this is gonna leave some of the darker shades we have done previously, ensuring a, a smooth transition between the dark and the light. And now we come to my chosen highlight color, which is Yurio Yellow, mixed with the previous Troll Slayer Orange. And this mix of the two colors is a good compromise for me. Not too crazy bright with just the straight up yellow, but a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer than just the orange. So I'm following the previous steps as usual, making sure to coat it with this brighter color, sometimes I'll cover all of the previous one to blend them all together, but you don't have to do that. I'll also sometimes go back into the red, the darkest red, and apply another layer of corn red, pulling from the very edge of the orange you see towards the middle of the red, and again that will help blend the two. Finishing up with that corn red being pulled towards the center, as I spoke about previously. And now we're going to apply the final touch, which is our white highlight to the very edges of the blade. Just being very careful to run it along. You don't want to ruin your previous work. And I am going to hit the center of the blade, but I'm going to do that off screen. Um, that's not something I can do while filming. Uh, you have to do it so carefully. But I take the edge of the brush like you're seeing now and I run it across that center bevel uh, and that'll achieve a really, a really fine highlight. Just make sure you get almost all the paint off your brush and make sure it's not too watery either. I hope you guys really found this one useful. I tried to show more of my actual steps here and really highlight the entire process from start to finish. If you really like this video, please leave some comments of suggestions for your next video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It's such a new channel that those things make a huge difference. 
And now I'm just showing you the finished effect here, both just on the sword and on a finished model. I add little hashes that I'm pointing to right now, and that just adds to the kind of a metallic feel to it. But those are optional. I'm also gonna leave you guys with some photos of completed work.